hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! We gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp. Anything that can help. A, a fucking... I don't know. Anything! We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Sit that. Sit down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. What the fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Like you helped Alvin? That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. I'm going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs, it's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? Clem, the adults are talking. Is that what this is? All right, now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. Luke will help us. Oh yeah? When? After that crazy fucks killed us all? Hey, look, Clem. Close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just... Just listen to them. Yeah, okay. I trust you. I'll... I'll do what I can. All right. It's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta do this. All right. Everybody run! Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Alright, go the fuck to sleep. 
I'm shooting the first one of y'all I see wandering around before sunup. Everybody get to bed. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. Do I have a choice? Of course. Really? Nah, not really. You gotta do this one. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Who's this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah Ugh, and... Sarah? I wish she'd stay gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Alvin killed George when he escaped. He might not have meant to, but George died all the same. Ain't no saints in all this. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for skiing. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Pavia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. <laughs> hey. You... want a hug? Okay, well, I owe you one for later then. You might not know what's coming though, but I could just sneak up on you when you're not expecting it. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. He never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so... Is she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. At 
was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. As we all know what happened this morning, I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. A friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous! Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building pointed toward the parking lot. I saw him when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. There are a few along the roof. Do they work? I've never heard them on. Actually, neither have I. They're turned off, but... It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Cause it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. And that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say and it's just some crazy stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? And you cover yourself in their smell. Rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? Door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Yes, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. You can't be smoking back <gasps> here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince! Vince, come on! Vince! You wanna disrespect me? Fine. You wanna throw away the life 
I'm trying to build for us all. But fucking fine. Wanna run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you and that baby. Before I let you leave. This ain't none of your business. This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Just shoot him. What? No, I just... Ugh! Go on and wait outside. We have to go. Can you please? I only need a minute. Go on. You don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. I'm not going anywhere. It's gonna get messy. I know. Look at you, you fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. That's all right. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. No. I'm not letting you see this. It's not your decision. Had a girl. She ain't afraid to look it in the eye. You go with that feeling you got right now, Clementine. That's what makes you stronger than the rest of them. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny, coming from you. How's that I? Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should've put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're a mess. The fuck are you looking at, bitch? Don't act like you didn't love every second of Let's go.